Well done. Okay. Changing the coil size. Alright, so we're gonna put this one in, put this one out. This one in. This was the um, two phase, and uh, this will be the five phase. Five phase test. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Next bit. Okay, here it is laid down A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E all the way around. Not bad for amateur. Perfect sizing. I got lucky, I guess. Perfect fit. So, what I've done, I'll explain that on a piece of paper like I usually do, but a quick uh, little. Um, I increased the depth of it. So, instead of a half an inch, I put a sixteenth of an inch here, so it's a thicker coil, and I was man I, I was able to put in back the hundred winds that I took out from the other ones. These guys, right? So these are these are little. These are half an inch, or they sit inside of half an inch, so it's a little less than half an inch. These ones are a little bit thicker, so I was so I managed to put a hundred winds, same as this. But obviously, um, because the distance away from the bottom magnet, um, you know, so there's a little bit of loss. I don't know if you call it loss, but a displacement. Um, anyway, so I'm going to connect it all and we'll do some more testing. Okay, so the five phases are hooked up, Frankenstein style. Just don't follow them, you'll just go dizzy, okay? Just simply take my word for it. The yellow is one phase, the green is a phase, the black is a phase, the red is a phase, the white is a phase, five phases. So I'm spinning it on... Uh, hundred and twenty five rpm so it's spinning at hundred and twenty five rpm so I'm gonna just simply test each coil each uh, phase AC what's it putting out for any rectifying anything else just alright so let's go phase A A Three volts. Phase. Well, oh, three because okay. Phase B. Eh, 
of three. Phase C. Three. Phase D. Three. Phase E. A. Three. Okay, so we know that they're all connected, they're all fine. So now I'm going to put the ends into a neutral position and then rectify the five into bridge rectifier and then connect them in a, in a um, series. The two, the, the, all five. I'll draw it on a piece of paper. How's that? Okay. Okay, five phase permanent magnet alternator. Uh, the setup will be 24 magnets, N48. The magnet size is one inch, length half and half sides. And we'll have two discs, but this test will only include one disc. And we also have 20 coils. The stator is made of 20 coils, 18 gauge wire. Each coil has 100 turns, and the coil's thickness or depth is 0.625 of an inch, so 5.8. The coil dimensions we have the width 1 and 3 eighth, and the length 1 and 3 quarters. And again, the depth is 5 8 thick. So, this test, I'm using one disc. So here's what we got. Well, first, let me show you how I rectified it. We have a and B, neutral point together, separate than C, D, and E. It has to be, otherwise it won't work. Most of you know that. So, and then we go to the rectification. A and B comes over, rectifies by itself, and then C, D, and E, and then we connect the two from minus to plus series, so it adds up, and then we use the positive negative terminals. So at that configuration we have 175 RPM gives me 14 volts, no load. So that tells me that the two discs with a little bit of, I'm losing a lot of efficiency because um, the air gap is a little bit more than I want it to be because it's um, it's not resin so it's, I cannot get close without hitting the, um, the laminate that I have underneath just to hold the coils. So with the two magnet discs will give me, from history, will give me 28 volts at 175 RPM and that's exactly what I want. I want to be in the middle of 150 to 200. Again the coils, I have to do a few coils to get the size right and to get the voltage right. So some of you will say I got lucky and not really but so let's see what I have here. I'm just going to show you the voltage and the RPM. And that's the bolt. And that's the one bridge rectifier, the three. 
and then the other one is way down there and they're connected from a plus it comes up the positive and then it connects sorry the, the negative connects to the positive the white is the actual positive feed and here is the negative feed and they both hook up to the voltmeter that's what we're getting so let's see how many RPMs One sixty seven. So it was one seventy five at fourteen. Okay. So I think I, uh, in one day, I kind of accomplished quite a bit. Kind of figured it out, laid it down on CAD, did the testing, measured, tested. Coil, recoil, wasted all kinds of wire, and um, tell you what, it takes a lot of uh, messing around to get it right. Not really the thinking; it's more like the mechanics, because one of these wires is loose and this doesn't work out, doesn't add up, so you have to go crazy. And it's all it is; it's a simple little. That's why soldering and all that good stuff will eliminate all that crap. But I didn't want to waste any resin anymore or copper. So this method here, it's actually working for me. Okay.